how much does Melbourne love its theatre? But it also loves its sport. And uh, this play is the dirty result of when those two things rub up against each other. I, um, Sublime tells the story of two brothers, uh, one an NRL player, one defected to AFL, and a teenage girl. It's about NRL versus AFL. It's about the beautiful hatred between Melbourne and Sydney. <laughs> it's a celebration of both of those things. I, um, after nine plays, I was longing to write a play, uh, using language again, and uh, when Brett offered me the opportunity to write a play in prose, I grabbed it, grabbed the ball with both hands. Um, the Sublime is three interwoven monologues inspired very much by Marco Rao's The Terminus. Uh, it explores sport, sex, and violence in the media. Uh, and it's very much about how a teenage girl with an iPhone can destroy not only a man's life, but entire power structures, industries, who are the victims in this play. We get access to our athletes through their media personas these days, and I wanted to write a play that rips them away, and we get not only access to the athlete, uh, but the human being, the very primal human being. Who are these people? Uh, I read a play called Reuben Guthrie, um, which was dramaturged by Sam Strong, and uh, I blame him for the fact that it turned out well. And uh, I've been uh, yearning to work with him again, um, so it's great to have him direct this piece for you next September. Uh, there's an actor called Josh McConville um, that I have an enormous man crush on and who will startle you next year on stage. He's a genius um, and a very gutsy performer. It's great to be playing on the hallowed turf of the MTC. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>